Hello guys, <clears throat> Sweet Disaster here, um, I'm doing this video because I want to talk a little bit Silent Hill Downpour. I just got it Friday, uh, March 30, which was the official um, day release here in Europe, um, and I beat it right the day after, so uh, it was really great, I loved it. And I wanted to... Um, you know, talk about what I think of it, you know. <clears throat> this is not going to be a review, because I'm not a reviewer, you know. Um, but I will give it my personal score and why I think it deserves that score. Um, you know, and uh, because apparently, you know, professional reviewers like... IGN or GameSpot or you know companies like that don't really know how to review games IGN gave it a 4.5 I think if I'm not mistaken and um, you know why they gave it that score because it's not a Call of Duty game if it was a Call of Duty game they would have gave it a 9 or a 10 but let's not go there uh, so yeah, let's start, um, with the story, the story, I, I thought it was great, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't one of those over-the-top stories like in Silent Hill 2, but it was a solid story, it was great, so you play as this dude called Murphy Pendleton, um, and you're in prison, and, you know, when you start off, you don't know what's going on. Uh, I really don't want to go, uh, in much into the story, because I don't want to spoil anything, because I know there's a lot of people that haven't played the game yet. But, uh, it's basically that, you know. You're a prisoner, you're in prison, you don't know, I, we don't know why your character is in prison. So, something happens, and he ends up in Silent Hill. And then, you know, you start finding out, uh, finding things about his past. And then the story progresses. Um, <clears throat> uh, so I thought the story was really good and solid. As far as gameplay goes, a lot of people uh, complain about it. Saying that the combat is clunky and blah blah blah. Um, that kind of pisses me off because, you know... Everyone that knows the Silent Hill series knows that uh, the combat was always clunky in every single uh, Silent Hill game. Except for Shared Memories because you don't have to fight, you can't fight monsters in that game, you know? You have no weapons, the only thing you can do in that game is run away and complete puzzles. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, a lot of people complain about that, and it, it kind of pisses me off, because the combat was always like that in every Silent Hill game. And actually, you know, in Silent Hill Homecoming, um, I think that it, they improved the combat system. You know, you, you were able to dodge and then attack, which was really cool. Now in this game, you're able to, um, you're able to defend yourself, to block, but you're not able to dodge. So... You know, they kind of made it more like Silent Hill 2-ish um, kind of combat. So, yeah. Um, because fans of that series don't really, really don't know what they want. Because when Homecoming came out and, you know, they, they saw what kind of combat system it had people started complaining. Oh, you know, this is a Silent Hill game and you made it into an action game because now we can dodge and block and all that shit. You know, people don't know what they want. I thought that that was a great improvement in the series. Um, and it was not. It, it didn't make it an action game, you know. It didn't feel like an action game to me. Um, but yeah, Homecoming for me is one of the weakest... Uh, Silent Hill titles in the series, but um, as far as Silent Hill Downpour goes, I thought it was a really good game. You know, I really enjoyed the story. The gameplay was 
easy, you know, it was easy to control your character, very easy. Uh, the combat, you know, the only thing I didn't like about the combat was the fact that when you block, you can't move, you can't run or walk, you, you can't do anything. You, you can turn around, you know, but that's about it. You can't walk and block at the same time. Um, what more? Characters. Murphy Pendleton. You know, I'm really glad that they finally decided to, uh, you know, I've been, I've been playing Silent Hill 4, you know, and I just finished, uh, finished it. Um, I just finished uploading it, uh, to YouTube. And since I've been playing that a lot, you know, the main, I was kind of getting used to the main character that had no feeling, no emotions at all. You know, he didn't, Henry didn't really show any emotions, so I'm really glad that in Downpour, um, I finally see a character that shows emotions. You know, so th that was really a plus. Um, as far as voice acting goes, you know, a lot of people complain about that too, saying it's too forced and too dramatic and blah blah blah. Uh, I didn't think it was too dramatic. I think that uh, the voice acting was really good. Um, but y you know what I think? I think that Silent Hill fanboys, um, even, you know, it, they don't want to admit that even if a game is good, you know, they just don't want to admit it, so they will find anything, you know, to make it look bad. Anything at all. The combat being clunky, the, the voice acting, you know, anything. But in Downpour, I really think that, that the atmosphere is awesome. I, I love the atmosphere in this game, you know. Uh, the game pulled me in, you know. It just sucked me in. I couldn't, pull, I couldn't put the controller down until I finished the game. That's how addicting it was. You know, I felt like I was playing... I felt like I felt like uh, when I played Silent Hill for the first time, you know. So it was really refreshing. Um... Since Homecoming, they've been trying to, you know, bring the old Silent Hill atmosphere back. And I think that with this game, they did a great job. Um, the other world, <laughs> the other world in this game is awesome. I love it. Um, I'm kind of confused about that thing that chases you through the, the other world. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. They, I, I don't, don't remember, but I really don't think they explain what that is. I guess it's just something that, you know, nothing in the Silent Hill other world makes any sense. So I'm okay with that. I'm just really curious, that's all. But the underworld, uh, the other world there is really, really awesome, you know. They really, they were really able to capture the uh, other world uh, feeling of the old Silent Hills, in my opinion. Um... So, I really don't understand why Silent Hill fanboys, you know, complain about it. I hear people saying, you know, Downpour doesn't deserve to be called Silent Hill. Really? Why not? You know, it, it's a great game. You guys are saying that because it's not a Silent Hill 2 clone. Because that's what, what Silent Hill fans have been ex expecting, you know. You close-minded bitches have been expecting a Silent Hill 2 clone. And that will never happen. Never. So, you know, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 are great games. And they will never make a game like that. Ever. Th those games are gold. You know? And they're up there. They, they will always be up there. There won't be any survival horror game that will stand up to the Silent Hill series, you know, to to Silent Hill one, two, and three. But I I I completely agree with Silent Hill fans when they say that I'm a, I'm a diehard Silent Hill fan. You know, I have all the games. I have the movie. I hate the movie, by the way. Uh, I have the movie. I have posters. I have the Lost Mem. I think it's called Lost Memories. I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, I have the Lost Memories DVD. Um, I have everything that has Silent Hill on it, basically. I'm a diehard Silent Hill fan, you know, I grew up with that series. So, 
I agree with them when they say that Silent Hill 1, 2, 3 are the best. For me, Silent Hill 2 is the best. But I, th I also think that, you know, those fans should stop being so close-minded about the new releases uh, in the series. And I think they should give it a chance and try it before they criticize the game. Because there's a lot of people that I heard criticizing the game and they hadn't really tried the game. Hell, the game wasn't even out and I already saw people saying shit about the game. So that's not fair. Um, but yeah, just, you know, pull your head out of your ass. Stop being so close-minded. Um, pick this game up. It is a good Silent Hill game. It's it's not a Silent Hill 2 copy. You know, it's not a masterpiece. I'm not saying it is. It's not. It's not a masterpiece. It has its flaws. For example, um, one of my complaints in the game is the frame rate drops. I hated that, you know, but it doesn't hurt the game that much. Um, I also hated the fact that you don't have uh, a large variety of enemies, you know. It has flaws, of course it has flaws. Every Silent Hill game has flaws. You know, I'm not saying this, that Downpour is a masterpiece, but sure as hell is a good survival horror game. And it deserves the name Silent Hill. It does. It did a great job in bringing the series back up. You know, and I'm pretty sure that the next title they make, I just hope that they keep on going. You know, and bring the, ser the series back up there. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about what I think about the game, you know, um, so I just hope that bitches like IGN or, you know, obsessed Silent Hill fanboys stop complaining about stupid stuff and, uh, start waking up to life because... We need new things, you know. If they were going to make Silent Hill 2 all over again, that wouldn't be fun. I don't want the same old combat system. I don't want the same old gameplay. I don't want the same old locations. I want something new and fresh. But that still feels like the Silent Hill series. And that's what they did with Downpour. So yeah, that's all I had to say. And uh, get this game. And my personal score, the score I give to this game, is 8 out of 10. Like it or not. So, I thought it was pretty good. It has flaws, but it's still a good game, nonetheless. So, that's it. And uh, I will be seeing you guys in the next video, which will be the Let's Play of Silent Hill Downpour. So, uh, stay tuned for that. See you in the next video, guys. Stay safe.